Hey, welcome back. We are going to knock out a, another step of the Code Crafters Build Your Own Shell in Zig Challenge. Um, we'll knock out one and maybe another. I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of see. Uh, so we have backslash outside quotes for this one. Uh, so in this stage, we'll implement support for quoting with backslashes. A non-quoted backslash is treated as an escape character. It preserves the literal value of the next character. Read more about quoting with backslashes here. Uh, so an escape character, so non-quoted backslash is the bash, bash escape character. It preserves the literal value of the next character that follows with the exception of a new line. If a slash new line pair appears and the backslash itself is not quoted, the new line is treated as a line continuation. That is, it is removed from the input stream and effectively ignored. Okay, I don't necessarily know if we need to worry about that at this point, but that is good to know. Uh, information on single quotes double quotes. Uh, okay, so I don't think we need either of those yet. Those look like they are further modules. So, okay, cool. So let's pull up our main.zig here. So I've got source main.zig, fire this up. And okay, so we want to be in our parse command line function, which we have right here. Uh, this is where we left off last time with our single and double quotes. So we're just going to add on to this. So um, we have some variables here tracking whether we're in single quotes, double quotes. We have a variable that is our arg. Uh, so that's our um, array list of arguments in this case. And this is our little makeshift parser for this. So we're just going to add to our makeshift parser. So we are doing this while input, while i is less than the input length. So we need to do that here. We have double quote handle, sorry, single quote handling here, double quote handling here, uh, white space handling here, and then we just append it. So we need to throw something into this if tree. So we'll do something here like if C is equal to uh, something like this. So if C is equal to backslash, uh, we need two backslashes here. Zig's also going to try to escape that for us. So how do we want to handle a backslash? So technically, um, we know that we want to take care of the backslash and the next character. So we can go ahead and increment i by 1 here. So i plus equals 1. We need to handle a specific case where if we are in double quote or in single quote, then we can just try to do an arg append. Uh, that needs to be a character, not a string. We should be able to append that there. Else, we can come over here and try arg append. Um, grab input at the uh, new index. So since we're incrementing i by one, we'll just take the next one uh, and then increment it again and then continue. I think that should be, actually that might be it. Okay, I'm running Code Crafters test and we shall see. Okay, the build has succeeded. It is running tests and logs should appear shortly. Okay, we have our output and uh, some of our tests passed, which is good. That means we're on the right track, but we do have a specific case that is failing. So we are attempting to cat a file and it looks like the backslashes here are in double quotes. And we are attempting to cat that and we're not finding that file or directory. Um, I, you know what? I looks like we have a double backslash here. I think we are just missing. Yeah. Okay. Right here. Uh, we also want to continue in this case. Let's give that another go. Hey, yeah, that'll do it. That is, uh, everything we need for that one. So I'm going to go ahead and actually commit this. So we'll commit, uh, add support for non-quoted backslashes. Give this a push. It'll rerun tests again. 
Um, the first time I used CodeCrafters test from their CLI, uh, which I, I think behind the scenes, like branches, submits the branch, runs the branch. It's uh, it's a little complicated, but um, the general flow is you can use CodeCrafters CLI and do CodeCrafters test and then CodeCrafters submit, or you can just commit. Um, and that's, that's what I'm doing in this case is committing. So let's go back here, give this a refresh, test pass. Uh, so we can mark it as complete or refactor. I actually don't know if there's much we need to refactor, so we're just gonna mark it as complete. And then um, we'll take a look at the next stage. Uh, okay, so while looking at the next stage, uh, this set of tests passed as well. So um, we support this, but we'll just go through it as well. So in this stage, we implement support for quoting with backslashes within single quotes. Enclosing characters within single quotes preserves the literal value of each character within the quotes, even backslashes. So yeah, we actually just did that uh, as a part of our previous one. So we can proceed to the next step. We'll mark this one as complete as well. And take a look at the next stage. Okay, so our test passed, or sorry, our test failed on this one. So this is backslash within double quotes. So in this stage, we need to implement support for quoting with backslashes within double quotes, enclose backslashes within double quotes, uh, your quotes, preserve the special meaning of the backslash only when it's followed by another backslash, a dollar sign, or a double quote, or a new line. Uh, read more about quoting with backslashes here. Okay, I think we will hold off on the backslashes within double quotes for now and do that in another video. We'll probably tackle that one and executing a quoted executable, uh, which is the next step right here. We'll probably tackle that in the next one. Hope this video was helpful. If you haven't yet and you want to sign up for Code Crafters, um, I have a link in the description below. Uh, it doesn't get you anything extra unless you end up paying for a premium plan at some point, in which case it will save you a load of money. Um, also worth mentioning, you might be able to expense it at work too. So that's something you could think about doing, uh, and no hard feelings. If you don't sign up with that, I, I get a kickback. So I definitely do appreciate it. Um, but also if you have already signed up and you aren't a part of my team yet, um, uh, you should join my team on code crafters too. So I'll put a link for that in the description below. Um, you can see that, uh, it's me and currently nut Walker at the moment. So would love to get more people in here as well. Uh, if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you get notifications um, whenever I post new stuff. And to make sure you get those notifications, there's a bell somewhere on the YouTube screen that you're supposed to click uh, if you want notifications of all new videos that I publish. So, um, yeah, I think that covers it. Thanks, and have a great day.